Hey besties, it's Dr. Clara T, your pharmacist here to spill the tea on meds and transparency. Today we're diving into ketoconazole, a solid antifungal that's here to help you fight off infections like ringworm, athlete's foot, jock itch, or yeast infections. These fungi can make your skin itchy, flaky, or just plain uncomfortable. But ketoconazole works by stopping their growth so you can get back to feeling fresh. You might get ketoconazole as a cream, shampoo, or pills, depending on your situation. For skin infections, you'll usually apply the cream or shampoo directly to clean, dry skin. Make sure you avoid getting it in your eyes, nose, or mouth. That's no fun. If you're using the pill form, take it with food to help prevent any stomach upset. Heads up, some people might feel some mild irritation, redness, or itching where they apply the cream or shampoo. That's pretty normal, but if it gets worse, check in with your doc. If you're on the pills, watch for side effects like stomach upset or headaches. More rarely, ketoconazole pills can affect your liver, so your doctor might want to monitor your liver function with blood tests while you're taking it. Don't stop your treatment early, even if your skin looks better. Fungi are sneaky, and stopping too soon can make the infection come back stronger. If you notice yellowing of your skin or eyes, dark urine, severe stomach pain, or feeling really tired or sick, contact your healthcare provider immediately. Those could be signs of serious liver problems. Also, always be honest with your doctor about any other meds you're taking because ketoconazole pills can interact with quite a few different drugs, making them stronger or weaker. Store this at room temp, away from heat, moisture, and light. Missed a dose? Take it when you remember, unless it's almost time for the next one then skip it. No double dosing. And if you're ever like, what even is in this pill? Hit up Pill Clarity. We break it all down, no gatekeeping. I'm Dr. Clara T, helping you get the clarity you need in the meds you take.